Hello again, 405th, Eva Carey here, aka Phil Schinner, and today we're going to be talking about electronics. Simple electronics, mind you. They can make or break an item, and this definitely, I think, does help. As I'm trying to get there, we go. Uh, the lights. Simple to find just about anywhere, and we're going to go over that really quickly here. So, Generally speaking, your lights, uh, you're going to find like prepackaged or the ones you're going to scavenge are going to come in two different sets. One being 12 volt and the other one being 5 volt. 12 volt is generally your automotive lights. Uh, these were uh, sold as a package to uh, add accents to a vehicle. I have a Dodge Cold, won't be adding that to my car anytime soon. <clears throat> and then also 5 volt. Anything with one of these is going to be 5 volts. That's the supplied power that is brought into the device. Now, past that point, obviously, a lot of your lights are not going to be supplied by 5 volts. They're going to be reduced down using a resistor. Now, resistors, I'm not going to get into that. It's a whole whole different beast. Uh, however, if you buy resistors, generally there will be a chart in the back. You can do a lot of math and figure it out. Or you can just be like me and uh, just test them out, see if they work. So, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll scavenge parts. I'll find them out of just about anything, uh, lights in specific. Here is a Wii remote charger, and it had two super bright LEDs in these holes right here. And kind of cool part is, is, as I turn this apart, I also was able to find this, which went in here. And when there's light supplied to this, it illuminates this whole piece right here. And that could be useful later on for another project down the road. Real quick note. Manufacturers love to hide the screws. For whatever reason, I don't know. But these two screws were the only ones shown as I tore this apart. Uh, and then there were these four here that were underneath these rubber feet. And then one dead center underneath the sticker. So really look around for the screws. Trying to pry too hard if it's not coming off easy then there's probably another screw in there somewhere, or a clip, something of the sort. So, getting back to the 12 volt, 5 volt thing. You have your uh, 5 volts, which is your USB once again. That can be supplied by daisy chaining, or in series, four AA batteries. It's going to supply 4.8 volts, which is generally enough to supply your uh, LEDs that are rated for 5 volts. If you have a 12 volt system, like automotive, then what you're going to want to use is, or at least myself, two 6-volt batteries. Find them at Walmart, $2.50 for two of them. In series or daisy chain together, they will provide 12 volts. Lasts a long, long time, and like I said, inexpensive. You can use the little button-style batteries in series. Uh, these are 3 volts. Uh, you'd, you'd have to have four of these ones. And they also have the smaller ones that are 1.5 volts. Obviously, you're looking at that many more. That's what they had stacked in this little tester box that came with that, uh, that strip light there. Insane amount of batteries. Once you open it up, they fly all over the place. So much easier with just two batteries. So, as you're tearing apart an item, and I did tear apart, this right here is a circuit board from one of those little tap lights. That little tap light supplied me with three really, really bright, 5-volt rated um, LED lights. And the circuitry on it is super, super simple because it's just a light. That's all it is. It has an on-off switch, and then it has three LEDs, and then the three LEDs had three resistors, one for each LED. Here's one of the LEDs after I popped it out. So all you have to do is look at the back of the circuit board, find out where each of the circuits goes, and use your soldering gun to tap them out, basically. Now, the cool part is is that I'm not so great with a soldering gun. I'm okay, but not that great. And what I usually do, and like this manufacturer did, is after you get an item torn apart and you want to put it back together, hot glue. It's an amazing thing. Twist your leads together and hot glue. You're not only making that connection, but you're also insulating it so it doesn't connect with another lead of the opposite. 
So that's pretty much it. Uh, if I think of anything else or if you have any other questions, feel free to ask. I'll be more than happy to help you out if I can. And we'll just kind of go from there. So I thank you very much for tuning in. Check out my thread, 405th. Have a great day.